Hello one and all, Mickey here, and no this isn't next week's XCOM Long War Pets video, that'll be out, you know, next week. This, as the title suggests, is the first video I ever made, and you guys have never seen it, even though it has been sitting at the very bottom of my videos list, uploaded on my channel, but marked as private. I made this video just as a tester of what would eventually become Series 1 of XCOM, and if you're ready for some more Halloween horror, feel free to take 17 minutes with me, as together we watch the first video I ever made, which I haven't seen in its entirety since I first made it and then went on to make the first series of XCOM. Or if you want to watch the actual original file itself without me, you know, now talking, that is at the bottom of the videos list, or you can just click on the link in the description below. So I guess we will just let the horror commence. The events in this video are fictional, as the characters portrayed within it. Yeah, this guys, I probably should have mentioned that this is going to be the same microphone quality as, as is in the first half of the yeah. first XCOM series I ever did. This video will be showing off XCOM Enemy Within's Long War mod. And like all good XCOM campaigns, it will be played on impossible difficulty. As ever. I'll be playing with all the DLCs on, as well as Iron Man mode. For the second wave option, I'm going with World Diversity, as it really fits well with Long War's new Soldier class system. So no strict screening. So let's start the campaign. Wow, this must be a very old version of Long War. North America and Asia, but let's go with Asia. We're heading into China for the next operation. No, it's it's kind of funny how unsure I sounded of myself. Major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. I wouldn't really call it a major metropolitan area. It's more of a gas station and a cafe. Exactly. For sure, whatever, Bradford. You get me. How about you let me take it from here? And if I recall... As you can see, the Long War mod has you start with six soldiers. Yeah, even back then I was using the old, Nicole Kidman, the old name file. Julie Roberts, Robert Mitchum, Errol Flynn, and Winona Ryder. Wow, that name file is... Now, I want to get to the circa group, but I don't want 2014. Dash, might be a group of sectoids up there. And even more of them inside the cafe itself. So the plan is to send Julie Roberts to take a look. And as you can see, guys, yeah, I was even using look, the UI elements back then, the city. overlays. What thing's that, Shen? The sectoids, the drone, or the pizza on the counter. That dry, dry humour. The next step is I recognise it so well. But unfortunately, our only way up is blocked by Julia Roberts. So I dash her back to the furthest full cover, clearing the path for Errol Flynn aye, aye, to scout out our rooftop sanctuary. Rooftop's OP. Always OP. The coast looks clear, but I dash him to the nearest full cover just to be certain. And with no enemies in sight, I dash the rest of the team up there after him. Location confirmed. One of the alterations that Long War makes is increasing the effectiveness of half cover by approximately 50%. This makes half cover much more viable instead of forcing you just to hunker down in it, and will do just fine for the rest of the squad. Instead of being full cover or no cover, thank you past, past, past me. Although we're in a commanding position now, Julia Roberts was left behind, and she's gonna be taking a lot of heat down there. Not to mention that drone can fly up and flank us any minute. But lucky for us. He either couldn't fly the distance, or got cold feet. Either way, for now, that's a win. One of the best advantages of being on the rooftop is concealment. And tile this scanning. Means I can take my time, check my angles, and find the best places to drop down and flank. Heading to that location. And this is the perfect spot. The back doors to both the kitchen and the gas station shop will provide further concealment, while I get into position for that deadly juicy flag. 2014 and my tactics are still basically oh, identical. Julia Roberts up, but I don't want to risk four potential overwatch shots, and I leave her behind yes, to man. hunker her down. So instead, I prepare my forces for the inevitable drone assault. That's affirmative. I'm on it, Commander. Whenever you're ready. You take your time, Mickey. It's not like this isn't edited. Sorry, Julia Roberts. Looks like you're the bait today. Drones in Longmoor are tricky buggers. They're no longer just the nuisance they were in Vanilla XCOM. They've been given increased damage and critical hit resistance, making them very tough to kill for rookies, with nothing more than the standard issue XCOM rifles. All right, back here you didn't even have carbines. Man, what version of Longmoor is this? And speak of the devil. Wow. That was unexpected. 
and no Overwatch indicators. I don't think those things carry weapons, Valen. I don't think it's self-destructed either. Looks to me like it was blown up by rifle fire. Ha ha ha! In my previous playthroughs of Long War, the early game drones have been bullet dodging tanks. But wins a win, I'll take it. It's one less headache to deal with. The next step's going to be those sectoids, and I doubt they're going to be as gung ho as that drone was. So I check to see how far each soldier can move in case they can reach that perfect flank. You're going to trigger! But it looks like everybody's just one turn off from being able to flank safely. Tile scanning, or not, just looking for that perfect spot. So I sent Errol Flynn to prepare to assault the back. Followed up by Robert Mitchum. So yeah, this was before Overwatch indicators. Uh, and Winona Ryder as his support. Where I put the percentages at the bottom of the screen and since have stopped. This was before medals, this was before pets. While Kevin Spacey. Or random rookie perks. And Nicole Kidman get ready to grenade the front. This was just complete bare bones, long war, impossible Iron Man. And unfortunately for Julia Roberts, because of potential hidden overwatches, she has to stay behind and keep her head down. One of the great new additions about Long War are the extra abilities the aliens have been given. And in this case, the sectoids have got a few more tricks up their sleeves. One of their new abilities is Mind Fray. Lucky for Julia here, it's a bit of a watered down Mind Fray, only dealing one damage, but still maintaining the penalty it gives towards mobility, will, and offense for two turns. And funnily enough, these little guys look like they're putting on a show for us, because here's their new ability, a beefed up Psy Panic, which also lasts two turns. Yet yeah, we already know that, Valen. Never foreseen, Valen? You mean since the last three sectors we saw a few minutes ago? Thank you, past me! Our first two Overwatches kill a drone, and they can't hit sectoids. Good old XCOM. Yeah, guys, I think you should try shooting over the ledge. I don't think you've got weapons yet capable of shooting straight through it. Maybe one day, though. And hey, three new sectoids. And one of them's even a leader. One of the many great new additions to Long War. But no time for that right now. Errol Flynn's finally going to make that deadly flank he's been preparing for the last two turns. And there's that little guy, hanging back nice and safe. Let's see what Errol Flynn can do with a 60% chance to hit and crit. Absolutely spot on. Nice shot, and a crit. Now those group sectoids there offer an opportunity far too tempting to pass up. And the Kidman Casey star tag team know exactly how to handle them. Grenades in Long War have gone through a lot of changes, making them far more unpredictable. Dealing a range of damage like normal weapons do. That good old rooftop concealment, staying out of cover. But nonetheless, the standard double grenade throw works all the same. Restraint, Valen? Never. I like this past Besides, Mickey. That he gets me. That there should have really led his troops better. Now, to help out Julia Roberts, who although had the common decency to hunker down when she panicked, unfortunately for me, that hunker down will only last one turn, but I won't regain control of her until the turn after that. So I've got to take steps to ensure that none of these sectoids advance on her position and gun her down while she's looking for her marbles. Problem is though, I'm just out of range to throw a flashbang, which would have basically neutralized one of the sectoids and halved the firepower that would have been thrown her away. So for now, I'm just gonna have to hope that her being hunkered down is gonna be enough to save her for this turn. Thankfully though, they just seem intent on scrambling her brain some more. <laughs> Not that it would have made any difference if it had succeeded anyway, seeing she was already panicked. And hey, more sectoids. Oh, sorry, little guy, I'm gonna have to see your boarding pass. No ticket, no roof. It's a bit of a coincidence. This map was the first ever video I made for XCOM, and it was also the first now map for the, the XCOM Long War Pets Even campaign. doubled the number of active contacts, and Julia Roberts, although she's still panicked, is no longer hunkering down. And that means that this turn, I have to send somebody up to go into Overwatch and cover her to prevent either of those sectoids from advancing on our position. With those three new contacts by the gas pumps, It'd be suicide for Winona Ryder to drop down and offer Julia Roberts some support. But let's see if I can cut their numbers down a little. Now usually, firing wildly into enemies in half cover with rookies wouldn't yield the best results. 
but with his elevation bonus, Kevin Spacey considers the odds and shows what he can do with a 66% chance to hit. A solid shot just shy of killing him, and like the star duo that they are, Nicole Kidman tests her odds to see if she can finish the job with a 62% chance to hit. Now that has just eased the pressure considerably. Winona Ryder likes what she just saw and joins the tag team so that her grenade can have some fun next turn. In the meantime, Robert Mitchum has got to save a damsel in distress, so he marches forward to go into Overwatch and cover her. But wait! Whoops. I may have had a lapse in judgment. Right, in this version of Long War, I didn't show you the fact that if you don't see the enemy shoot, the then enemy shot an Overwatch. And like a champ, Mitchum takes a plasma pistol to the face. But thank the gods, he's still breathing. And again, Mitchum's just shy of throwing a flash grenade. This was before the increased number of second wave options. We need to work on that throwing arm, Viz. This has now forced my hand to send Errol Flint to back him up, in hopes that moving behind that industrial fridge, he can see and overwatch the second sectoid, discouraging either of them from moving. With both men overwatching, this should prevent either of the sectoids moving up on them or Julia Roberts. And still no meld, just like now. Although side attacks must have made this sectoid's eyes go blurry because he misses that shot. And Julia Roberts lives to panic another day. <laughs> wow. But revenge is a wonderful thing. Oh wait. Did they not implement Overwatch indicators yet? Yet again I forget. If you don't see the enemy shooting, then that means he's on Overwatch. But Julia Roberts got more lives than a cat and shows her assailant exactly how to get the job done. With an 8360 chance to hit and crit. Oh right, the meld. I'd forgotten oh about God, that. Getting meld. Robert Mitchum used to be so reckless. To forward, so young. Meld, with a complete disregard for sanitation and stamping over someone's pizza. With only one sector at the front of the calf now, that means Errol Flynn can move up and cover his injured comrade. Back on the roof though, looks like Winona Riders joined the party just too late. As both Kidman and Spacey are out of ammo and offensive grenades. So she has to sit back and bide her time while her colleagues reload. Good to go. Mitchum hunkers down for the double defense bonus while Flynn covers him to end the turn. Another new ability all of the aliens have, given to them by Long War, oh, is sectoids. the ability to hunker down and double their defense whilst also making themselves immune to critical hits. Although this little guy would have been better off going into Overwatch, as now he's left himself open to be advanced on. And Julia robbed his out for blood. Unfortunately for her though, the bench he's hunkering down behind is more than enough to protect him this turn. But at least it gives her the opportunity to get to safety. Man, their, their AI is so much better than in XCOM 2. XCOM 2 they all feel like With robots. fully loaded, and a new member added to their star tag team, Spacey, Kidman and Ryder are ready for action. Here it actually feels like they With panic. With two kill assists under his belt, Spacey decides to let this 53% chance to hit behind heavy cover go. Right now the odds to hit from the roof are slim, and the grenades to throw are limited, so it's time to plan another flank. Kidman dashes to the rear of the roof to prepare for next turn. Without being able to advance far enough to the hunkered down sectoid without flanking him, there's no point in taking any shots. So again, Mitchum hunkers down and Flynn covers him. And Spacey doesn't take any chances and hunkers down as well. Seriously, you're hunkering down again? That's really going to be the death of you. Poor guy. You never knew what was coming. We can now see two of the three sectoids to our right, with the last probably hiding somewhere between all the gas pumps. I think it's time to show them how a flank works. What the hell? Where'd that third sectoid go? He should have been by that far cabinet. Did I perhaps know bad. that because I was tile scanning? God, this guy's such a cheater. Exactly like such a cheater. Off this roof, is it? Tile scanning all the time. Even so, Kevin Spacey shows us all he needs is bullets. Taking advantage right of the rooftops. This incredible 53% chance to hit. Exploits all the time. When Owen and Ryder impressed yet again, Tries her chance with a 68% chance to hit and a 10% chance to do critical damage. And a critical hit. I should have brought her forward earlier. Meanwhile, Julia Roberts is only seeing red and plots her revenge. 
To end the turn, Nicole Kidman doesn't risk any surprises jumping out at her from inside the shop, so goes into Overwatch. And Mitchum and Flynn hunker down and Overwatch. So there's that sneaky little git. Wow. Oh, really? The AI. You're not going to use cover. Not even that box. So much more personality in like XCOM 2. Right there. Just one tile away. No? Fair enough. Flynn's 95% chance to hit and 60 to crit shows why cover is so important. You'd think a sectoid leader would know this. And to finish off with, Julia Roberts completes her reign of vengeance. I didn't realise she'd move that one tile and trigger an overwatch, but it looks like her thirst for blood saved her life again. Yeah, shouldn't have triggered overwatch. Oh right, I see why and I triggered overwatch. If the range computer AI taught me anything, it's that everybody likes revenge. And an 85% chance to hit puts Julia's soul at ease. So to sum up, rooftop's good. Forgetting about overwatch bad. And not using cover stupid. Oh, that summary. Good old times. So that's nine sectoids dead, one drone destroyed, and one pizza stepped on. I think our work here is done. Oh, the humor. So dry. So dry. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Finally, HQ. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. Bradley! I'm Central Officer. Whatever, Bradley, Bradley you're not in charge anymore. Another addition the the makes a soldier class choice, so Kevin Spacey here can become an infantryman or an assault. Keep talking, whenever ready. Just like it's Julia sounds. Roberts can become a medic or an engineer, and gets four days of counselling for having her brain scrambled so much. The manly Nicole Kidman can become a sniper or a scout. Oh right, this was before the mod that would choose the right gender, based on the name you give. Errol Flynn gets to choose between a rocketeer and a gunner. And we're knowing a rider 2 is either a sniper or a scout. And Robert Mitchum goes to sick bay for two weeks for catching an overwatch plasma pistol shot with his face. Now for a quick stop in the research labs, where I task my understaffed research team to look into alien weaponry for me. And engineering is all these years and Shen still looks miserable. Nothing stops countries panicking like knowing they're being spied on. Looking at the world map, things aren't great, but at least I haven't gone to hell yet. So we should plan All that's left now is to start scanning for activity and see what crops up. And here we go. Another mission will never Egypt's go to. begging for XCOM soldiers to trash their cats and all for 100 bucks. And next time we'll be looking at Elizabeth Taylor, Julian Moore, Jim Carrey, Kira Knightley, Sam Worthington and Ben Stiller. Time to send a bunch of rookies to their death in Egypt. Definitely sounds like XCOM. Touching down. For Operation Broken Days. But Egyptian I guess border. that'll be next time. So that was the first video I ever made. Wow. I haven't actually looked through it since, I don't know, three years or more. When did I first finish it? Looking at the files, end of March 2014. Oof. But still, you can see a lot of things that are similar to how I have the campaign set up in all of my XCOM campaigns. The outro, the intro is basically the same besides, you know, the horrible microphone quality. Wow, that, that was rough listening to that. The enemy counter, the name list, all of that was in place before I even started my series. That was... Man, I, I was ready for the series. I was just ready and raring to start. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This all started back in the day because of Beagle Rush. If you never heard of him, a link to his channel will be in the description below. He initially started making XCOM Long War videos, and I thought, you know what? I could do that, you know, without the humor and more overlays. I can do that. Nowadays, he streams PUBG on his Twitch channel and highlights on his YouTube channel. Feel free to head on over there and tell him I sent you. And that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video i don't know how many of you would have enjoyed this video oh it was a bit 50 50 with me as well but if you did enjoy it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let anyone else know if they'd enjoy it as well don't know why they would but i will see you next time remember the next episode of xcom the bullet train mission will be out around the end of next week worst case sunday if not before then if i finish it early so thank you very much for watching and bye bye man so much editing so many overlays so many dead rookies welcome one and all to my xcom enemy within Long War, Impossible, Iron Man playthrough. I'll be playing with both Progeny and Slingshot DLCs on, as this adds to what the game can throw at you.
Long War alters most of the second wave options available to accommodate the changes the mod makes to the game.